Hey everybody, Paul Humiller here at Dream Guitars and always a joy to get in the guitars from our pals at Kissimmee Guitars in South Africa. Um, the two gentlemen at Kissimmee worked a lot with Mark Mengard years ago. You may have seen many of his great guitars on our website over the years. Mark is now retired, um, but the Kissimmee folks are taking over the lineage of that sort of style of build and then of course adding their a whole nother level. These guys are very, very sought after right now. Um, we're now their exclusive North American dealer, I'm very happy to say. So if you'd like one, give us a call. We can custom build a future slot for you. But of course, we have this beauty right here, right now. This is a, a like new 2020 um, C2S um, model. So this is the C2S for signature. So the C2, the C is a 16 inch body. And then it's got, of course, a cutaway, nice deep cutaway here on a moon spruce top. Moon spruce, uh, many of you know, is one of my favorites just because they harvest the wood when that's the least amount of resin in it. So that is very alive and, and breathing day one. Um, lots of other details on this fine guitar. So if you look closely, there's um, dual bevels, top and back. Um, so very comfortable to hold this guitar. And then they've got their signature bridge here, which is an open design. And there's even a cool little magnetic door here to get at the strings for changing the strings. Thought I'd show you that. And then beautiful detail work. One of the things they do is all of this artistic work with copper and brass and abalone. And a number of their guitars have different themes. This has a beautiful, just geometric design to it. And of course, just some African inspiration there. And then just gorgeous fretwork. Um, these look like Evo gold frets to me. And then their signature open headstock. So this is obviously an open design, which allows the strings to flow straight across as well. Um, straight across the nut, that is, with the 510 Goto tuners on them. You've got a back plate on the mahogany neck. And then really great Brazilian, I'm sorry, African blackwood on this one. I almost said Brazilian blackwood. African blackwood. Um, Again, being from South Africa, they have access to some great wood and Africa blackwood becoming super popular. It's actually more rare in, in, in terms of being harder to get than Brazilian rosewood these days, but it sounds lovely. It has a lot of the same depth of tone that I hear in Brazilian, but well, maybe just a little bit more low mid range is sort of what my ear always picks up on. And that gives a sort of a really beautiful characteristic to the sound that I like a lot. So. Um, has a lot of what Brazilian has, but different. So it's a it's another great choice for all of us living in this golden age of luthery. Um, uh, there's also the sound port here. I almost skipped over, but there's a sound port as well. And again, here you can see the dual bevels front and back. And then I almost, well, you probably saw it, but I forgot to mention the matching artwork on the back as well. Again, brass, copper, and abalone to go along with and match up with the rosette. So just beautiful aesthetic. And the tone is magical. So what you're going to hear, I hope, um, the microphones will pick everything up today where you're going to hear this openness and this big quality to the sound. Um, this is a guitar that um, I could definitely be happy playing in any tuning. So from E, it's in standard tuning now at E, of course, and then Dad Gad um, C tunings will all work great here. So we'll see what I decide to do for you, but it'll be fun, whatever it is. And this, again, is a 2020 Cassini C2S. Mm -hmm. 